Hello guys, in the previous video I talked about uh, some formulas uh, in geometry to obtain uh, two-dimensional uh, shapes, area and circumference uh, which are needed to start learning calculus. Uh, in this video I'm going to talk about uh, the area and volume of three-dimensional shapes, some important famous uh, three-dimensional shapes in geometry, and uh, introduce uh, the formula and relations uh, to obtain the volume and the area of those shapes. So let's uh, start. The first important three-dimensional shape is a sphere, which uh, has a lot of applications in engineering and mathematics. The volume of uh, an sphere with a uh, radius r uh, which i show with green on this sphere the volume is obtained as v equals 4 over 3 pi times r cubed so uh, this simple formula is used to obtain the volume of a sphere. The area of sphere, by area I mean the outer surface of a sphere, is obtained by 4 times pi times r squared. So these relations are uh, used to obtain the volume and area of a sphere. Okay. The next uh, three-dimensional shape is cylinder. Uh, the volume of a cylinder is obtained by multiplying the uh, area of the base. So, so this is the base of the cylinder that I'm highlighting, uh, which is a circle. Uh, the volume is obtained as multiplication of uh, the area of the base which is pi r squared uh, as you see the area of this circle and the radius of this circle is r times the height of the cylinder which is h so uh, by this relation you obtain the volume of a cylinder and of course the area of this cylinder is the area of two circles one here and the other one here so it's two circles times pi r squared plus the area of uh, its lateral surface uh, which is here, the lateral surface of this cylinder. You can imagine this cylinder as a can, and if you open this lateral surface, uh, it is uh, similar to a rectangle, something like this, if you open it laterally. So uh, it is imagined it is easy to imagine that, okay, the lateral surface is a rectangle and the surface area is just uh, its height. And then this length, which is the perimeter of the circle, which is 2r times pi. So the lateral uh, surface is let me erase this. The lateral surface is simply uh, 2 pi r times h. And this establishes the area of uh, this cylinder. Please pay attention that uh, a cylinder is a subcategory of prisms. Uh, whenever you have a base, something like this, an arbitrary one. And if you just extrude that uh, base in a 3D space, 
you get a prism so let me just show it just duplicate and you just extrude it and uh, then this shape is a prism uh, as I said the base uh, can be an arbitrary shape for example it can be a polygon whatever then you just extrude that shape and then you have a prism so it's not a clean shape absolutely but I just wanted to show you uh, the concept of prism absolutely when you have a circle like uh, uh, like what we have for cylinder then cylinder is also considered as a cylinder uh, as a prism so uh, the uh, same concept can be used to obtain uh, the area or the volume of uh, prisms next important 3d shape is uh, a cone as you can see it has a base a circular base uh, with a height h the circular base has radius r so the volume v of this cone is obtained by one third of the area of the base times h area of the base is a circle so it's pi r squared times h and the area of this cone is pi times r a square root of r squared plus h squared the height so these two relations are used and to obtain the volume and area of a cone okay the last uh, 3d shape that i'm going to talk about is a pyramid uh, the volume of a pyramid is obtained uh, similar to a cone so it is one third of the area of a base times h and since uh, the base is a rectangle it is simply a times b the uh, length of each side of this rectang rectangle times the, the h the height of the pyramid the area of uh, this pyramid is obtained as the summation of all lateral surfaces so the base area plus uh, summation of area of all triangles uh, we have uh, four triangles so it is the area of uh, the summation of uh, the areas of these four triangles uh, and uh, absolutely you have to be careful about uh, obtaining the uh, area of the triangles because you have to consider the slant height so this is the slant height of uh, this triangle I call it H subscript S so you shouldn't use the height of the pyramid you should consider the slanted height of uh, uh, the prism which is HS uh, to obtain the area of these triangles so uh, that concludes the relations to obtain volume and area of a pyramid if you have any questions please leave a comment down below this video and i will get back to you as soon as i can 
Also, if this video helped you in any way, uh, please hit the like button and subscribe our channel if you enjoy the contents in our channel and would like to see more. Thank you for watching this video.